my new Geometry Notes tutorial. Today I want to show you how I made this Geometry Notes tree here. So basically you can see here on every edge the edge length. And this technique you can use for example given index per vertex or face area or whatever by just a little adaption. And I don't want to waste your time, let's get wide started. So I'm gonna start with the when new file here. But I'm using here the mesh UV sphere. Then we go to geometry nodes and we start with a new geometry node here. Um, I'm using 4.10 alpha version, but you can use any Blender version which already has the repeat zone because we use the repeat zone. So what we want to do, we want to calculate the distance between two vertices which are connected to an edge. So we use the edge vertices for this and then we just use a vector math node and plug the positions both in here. And if we change this here to distance, we already have the distance, that's great. How many repeat loops do we need? Well, it's very easy. We need a domain size and as many edges as we have, uh, as often the repeat loop should be repeated so we can show the length. What else do we need? We need a joint geometry node because we want to add the number each edge loop. Then we need a string to curves node. This is what we add here and we add this information, the length uh, we want to add. We make this a little bit smaller and we position this by translate instances and we want to translate this by the index, so we need another math node here at 1 and we need a new value and this is our index loop, so that's how we call it. Let's call it index loop, so we know what it is and all we now do is sample index and we use the index from the index loop and of course our own geometry and we need the position but the position of the edge and this position of course we need a vector because position is a vector and this position we put in the translation and now you see we have a length on every edge as you can see which is already great. Now we just need the right value there. So we need this value in the string. We cannot plug it in here. Yes, you can see it's red because this value here is diamond shaped, is a field value. So it's a lot of values, not just one. You can think of an array of values. And the round value here is just one single value, so you cannot plug many values in one value. That's why we use another sample index here, because we want only one edge length per uh, edge. So we're going to use the same geometry and we use the length here and then we get one value. And you see it's uh, still wet because now it's two round values but uh, this value here is a vector and this is a string so we need a value to string uh, node between here and now it should work and you see we have already some values here but the values are all zero because I took here vector which is wrong because the length is just a float. So I change this here to float with some decimals. Oh, turn down my size and now you should see that it works pretty nice. 
and I'm sorry for my lagging computer here. And you see, here we have these sizes. And of course you can uh, offset uh, the text here a little bit so you can read it better because it's now uh, sometimes inside the UV sphere. So you can say translate instances by the normal a bit and then you sample the normal from the edge which is not always a good idea, but here in this example that's uh, okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna turn off the string to curves here for a while so that I can work because my computer doesn't make it, as you can see. It's totally uh, killed, so I'm gonna turn this off. What you need here is, uh, again, a vector. And of course you need, again, that index loop here, and the value is the normal. And then you can plug this normal here in and you also should scale this a bit so we use a scale node that you can uh, change the value i'm gonna now decrease here my uv sphere a lot so that it's quicker if i now test it so i delete here some vertices and this you can plug in in the group input and then you can change the scale here and hopefully my computer is a little bit faster now and as you can see the scale is much too uh, big so i'm gonna turn another math node here and i say divide by 100 because by this i can better change that value and if you now change the value just a bit you see, now you can read it very nice, and of course, if you make a grid, you can read the differences better. And yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. I hope you like it, I hope you have fun. Tell me if you want to know some improvements of this. Like example given, you can rotate the text to the camera, so you can read it always perfect. Because if you make this, you cannot read it. So let me know if you want to know how to do this. Have fun. Bye.